know, at some point, I feel every artist questions, how do they fit in to the times? You know, how are they making a difference? I think if you have a voice, that you should use it in a positive manner, you know? Here and there, I might do something socially conscious. With my work, I used to write too a lot, and I would incorporate some of my poems or whatever thoughts into some of my pieces. But I wasn't like a overtly kind of conscious, like Black Power, you know, I'm gonna put this in here to represent that. More of a subtle kind of thing. It's an obligation for us to teach each other, you know what I mean? It's an obligation to show greatness in each other because if you only see misery, you're only gonna birth that, right? You're only gonna birth destruction. You know, you're only gonna birth a negative perspective of yourself. If we don't even see ourselves on TV in a positive light, if you always seeing a black dude or the black woman getting killed, or treat it as nothing, you are gonna start to think that, yo, I'm nothing, I'm not worth anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's an obligation to change those perspectives, to change those reflections. If I care about me and I care about my brother and I care about my sister, you know, I wanna show them a better view of themselves. I'm not saying all art should have a message, but if you're living in this present time and things affect you and you know you might get upset that people don't get it because of the news or how they you know how we programmed and stuff like that art is the best outlet to express it there's a couple of times where I did create something of you know political nature and somebody was like dang I didn't end know of that person or I didn't know about this situation until I saw you address it with your artwork. Everything that I do is based on something that I feel like should be a conversation. Uh, so by it being women, maybe there's something to talk about. Or by it being black women, maybe there's something to talk about. You know, there's a different reason for each one um, but they all kind of carry the same topic. I also like to address, um, you know, social, political issues that are close to heart, but still, um, I think that the delivery of that can be soft. It can be done with love and respect, and it can still leave you in a happy place or in a high. I think I want people to have conversations as to, you know, let's talk about this more. Let's peel the onion on these issues. Um, and I want those kinds of conversations to be stimulated by my art. I want those kinds of responses when people go away. The one thing that impacts me more than anything is my feeling about blackness. And so that's always like at the heart of like a lot of stuff that I see how I'm interpreting, reinterpreting, contextualizing blackness, like in, in, in everything that that is in a much more expansive like light. Because I started off, uh, when I started screen printing, I was like, if I'm gonna do this and spend all my money on um, buying all of this printmaking stuff, like I'm just gonna do, when I close my eyes, whatever I see is what I'm gonna do. The whole narrative about um, Jim Crow and Reconstruction, like that can't be the end of it, right? I have to say more, I have to do more, and I have so much more I want to say. Granted, we still have a story to tell, but I don't want my subject matter of all my artwork to be just about slavery, oppression, the Jim Crow, new Jim Crow, all that stuff. I don't want to do that in every piece I'm creating, because it is a story to tell, but I feel like we've told that shit for a long time a very long time, so I wanted to go back in history and actually start researching different tribes, like the Himba tribe, the Congo tribe, the Chokwe tribe, and create pieces like that in the abstract form. Our culture is being expressed more and more through this craft. 
and I plan on being a part of that. And um, I just hope that they can take pieces of what it is, well, like, of what it is who we are, take those pieces home and just acknowledge it. Just acknowledge who we are and what it is that we do and where we come from. I just want to continue to create images that portray our people and other people of color like in positive, strong ways, creative ways, um, maybe ways that haven't really been like thought or executed that much. Especially with like a lot of weird stuff happening these days, like in the country and the world, like you gotta kind of like reinforce the good aspects of it. Um, on top of that, I have a daughter. So me creating strong images like that, I really want to continue to do that because I see how it affects her. Therefore, I feel good about, you know, thinking about what it's doing for other kids. I think my biggest motivation is, it's probably my daughter. Um, I like seeing her watch me work on my art. She's pretty artistic too, you know, so she'll go, she'll start painting her little stuff. She'll bring it in, she'll put it next to mine. She'll say, I'm gonna be an artist like my dad. And, um, you know, I think that's really important because a lot of black kids aren't really exposed to the arts. So I always try to keep her in a museum or I take her to exhibits. You know, I just like her seeing that and, you know, I don't want her to grow up in a box. So, you know, if she wants to do some art, yeah, go ahead and do it. As a black woman, it's important for little girls to see someone that looks like me that can be in this art world. Um, I know growing up, the only time I was able to see art was like during our Juneteenth festivals in June or the Black Arts Festival in the summer. So now with technology and social media, to see all these black women artists or to see just any artists, like black artists, it's like a big deal for me. I'm just here to break stereotypes. I feel like that's what I was put here for. I feel like that was my underlying message throughout my artwork is to shock the world and change the perception of people around you, of what you can do and how you look at what you do. Regardless of what I look like, there are actually people of my skin tone, of my visual background, so to speak, or whatever, that actually make a living and can shock the world just doing what they do and doing what they love. In terms of, of what I feel my work gives back to the community, ultimately I hope that it's a sense of oneness. You know, most of my pieces have backstories behind them that either deal with hope or strength or wisdom. I do want to unify people more because I grew up in the suburbs. So I had people, I had friends who were all different type of, you know, ethnicities, backgrounds. So I just really want to bring people together more and just something for you to talk about, you know, a conversation starter, but at the same time, something that no matter where you come from, age, background, race, gender, it's something we all can appreciate and just forget about your, our differences for a moment and just appreciate something beautiful. Trying to do, do more with my art as far as representing black women or showing a different side to black womanhood and femininity and things of that nature. I want to expound upon with my work and I think I'm at the beginnings of understanding that path. It wasn't something, I think I was kind of resistant of that initially. It was just like, I don't want to make black art. I don't, I don't want to get pigeonholed into that. Or what is black art? And so now I'm at a space where it's just like, you know, it's okay to embrace that. And we can explore that and show different sides to that, however they come out.